one's talking about it. Jim Curtin, currently of the Philadelphia Union, with some interesting comments on the Crack Podcast with Demarcus Beasley and Aguchi Onye. Well, here's what he had to say when asked about the national team gig for 2026. <laughs> what, one, one man's misery is another man's opportunity. Are, are you eyeing that U.S. job? You know what? Um, of course, I'd love to coach the national team, if that's what you're asking. But I said this before, and I mean what I say when I say it. it whoever they choose, if they choose Jose Mourinho, if they choose Ancelotti, if they choose Jesse Marsh, I would also I'd be their assistant. You know what I mean? Like, that's how important I think this World Cup is. And I you think would that's leave how we your all head coaching job it. to be a U.S. assistant. Yes. Hercules Gomez. Lots to pick out there from what we heard from Jim Curtin. Let's start with the idea of a Curtin Marsh ticket for 2026. Are you backing it, Hercules Gomez? If it's the lesser of the evils, yes, I am. Let me explain. Oh, don't sit on the fence. This is don't not sit sitting on, on the, the fence. fence. This is not sitting on the fence. Let me explain. Jim Curtin mentioned Jose Mourinho. He mentioned Ancelotti. Mm -hmm. if, or any lesser name you want outside of this bubble, this domestic bubble, if that's not attainable, A, because they're not available or, or because you can't come to terms or because, quite frankly, this isn't as desirable as a job as people think and they may not want to do it in this cycle, if mm -hmm. that's not attainable, Jesse Marsh and Jim Curtin are the lesser of the evils. If you're going to go American, I'm, yes, American, mm -hmm. it's not going to be a Materazzo. It's not going to be a David Wagner. That's, that's just a reality. So what's your pool? This is the lesser of the evils. I understand everybody's worry, and it's probably recency bias when it comes to Jesse Marsh because a few mm -hmm. months ago, everybody would have jumped at the right. chance of Jesse Marsh. That's a reality. You could say he's failed at certain places he's been at, but he's been there. And for American coaches, you can't take that lightly. So if this is the lesser of the evils, I'm on board for a Jesse Marsh and Jim Curtin ticket because Jim Curtin, and we see this a lot of times, we just saw Mexico trying to do this. Mexico just tried out for Jimmy Lozano. They tried offering Jimmy Lozano to be the U23 coach and the assistant coach. They did the same thing to Rafa Marquez who's in Barcelona. If Jim Curtin were to go on in this ticket, with whatever national team coach was there, mm -hmm. Jesse Marsh or better, I would be on board with that. Him taking the U23 team. Him taking that U20 team and then the U23 team at the Olympics and then being part of this process through 2026. I'm on board for that. It's the lesser of the evils for me. You could do a lot worse. If you think about the combined resumes between a Marsh and Curtin and compare that to what Greg Berhalter's resume was when he took over this team late 2018, early 2019, you could do a lot worse, right? And, and Greg Berhalter, for all accounts, you can criticize how it was done, but you have to say, got the team qualified, got them through the, the group phase and got them into the knockout round, right? So these two would have much more on their resumes combined than Greg Berhalter had back when he was hired. So I think you could do a lot, a lot worse than this ticket, Herc. But what do you make of the idea of of Marsh taking a step back, or would it be a step back, to go from head coach of a, Nash, of a club team like the Philadelphia Union, a successful one, to a national team assistant? You would you do it? You said Jim Curtin, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I thought I heard something else for a second. Yes, if I was, uh, for him, this makes total sense. Now, it, it, it's being involved in the World Cup. Jesse Marsh was one of our assistant coaches in 2010, I was on that team in 2010, South Africa. He was an assistant coach. Being an assistant coach... Did he leave a head coaching national job? Well, Thierry Henry left a head coaching job to be an assistant coach. You know? And where's he got him? What's the next gig for him? Well, anywhere he wants, because if you do well, if you're part of a successful project, you can go on to bigger and better. Now, nobody's keeping an eye on Jim Kern because of what he's doing to the Philadelphia Union in Europe. But if now you have a coaching resume... In a World Cup, and it was successful, you be damn sure he's going to have somebody somewhere sniffing around. And maybe it's Jesse realizes he doesn't want that. There have been cases, a lot of cases, mm -hmm. where the assistant coach has taken over for the full coach, for the full team coach. A lot of cases, a lot of different national teams, and I'm not saying that's what I want for Jim Kern, but there are easy ways to get out if you're a coach or somebody in Jim Kern's position. This is one of them. Her, what about having two head coaches? effectively, which is what you would have here, right? Jesse no, Marshall's the no, head no. coach. There's a hierarchy here with all due respect to Jim Curtin. There's well, why a don't we see more of this then? Why don't we see more number one guys taking number two jobs? You don't think this could get messy? 
with all due respect to Jim Curtin, he's not a number one at that level. So I, I don't, and he's also best mm. friends with Jesse Marsh. So I, I don't think it's going to. So you don't think Jim Curtin's a candidate for the 2026 job on his own? No, no. Mm. I don't think anybody in Major League Soccer right now is a candidate on their own. And if you were, it's because it's a desperate situation and you needed to pull a bombero out of your pocket. All right, well, uh, kudos to Jim Curtin. Seems selfless, if nothing else, that he would be willing to take the assistant job from a head Absolutely. coaching position. Uh, wait a sec. Oh, just it's a contract year for Jim Curtin. Oh. 2023, the last year of his oh, contract. No. So not, not bad to be linked to the, to the national team job, whether it's an assistant or head coaching job. In a contract Look at you. you. Look at you. You know all about that. You know all about no, that. No, no, no. You know I, all about that. No, I do not. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.